and welcome to your weekend edition of LMU Community TV News. I'm Ashley Hurley. We do thank you for joining us. It was a 3-2 to two decision with the Harrogate Board of Mayor and Aldermen passing the second reading of the ordinance addressing the issue of Sunday beer sales. The second reading for the ordinance was amended to allow beer sales on Sunday from the hours of 1 in the afternoon to 10 o'clock that night and on weekdays from 8 that morning until midnight. The second reading of the ordinance was amended to allow the beer sales from the hours of 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. and on weekdays from 8 a.m. until midnight. Harrogate Mayor Linda Fultz was the deciding vote on the ordinance. Currently, the Oasis is now the only establishment within the city limits that sells beer. On a note related to the Sunday beer sale, the Oasis will be closed this coming Sunday for remodeling, so the first Sunday they will be serving beer will be August the 2nd. Continuing with the countdown to a tobacco-free Lincoln Memorial University, they want to remind the community that, a, that the university promotes a healthy, sanitary environment free from tobacco, smoke, and tobacco-related debris. The LMU community acknowledges that long-term health hazards may accrue to people who use tobacco products or who are subjected to secondhand smoke. Effective on August 1st, LMU will be a tobacco-free campus with smoking and all other tobacco usage prohibited. This policy applies to all university buildings, grounds. This is including residence halls, parking lots, and cars that are parked on LMU properties, LMU affiliated off-campus locations and clinics, and any buildings owned, leased, or rented by LMU in all other areas. This policy applies to all faculty, staff, students, contractors, and visitors of LMU within the policy being in effect 24 hours a day all year. Coming up on Monday on LMU Community TV News, we will be breaking down what tobacco use means within the policy and how you can get help that you need if you are a tobacco user. The University Medical Clinic will soon be moving to its new Tazewell location to a new address located at 424 North Broad Street in New Tazewell. Many will remember the location being home to Radio Shack and CNC Office Supply. The new 14,000 square foot location is projected to be open by August. Renovations continue at the new location, which will feature 18 patient exam rooms, a well waiting area, as well as a sick waiting area. In addition to primary care, UMC services will include pediatric care, women's health, early prenatal care, smoking cessation, sports medicine, osteopathic manipulation and rehabilitation, along with those childhood and adult immunization injections, allergy shots, on-site laboratory studies and x-ray services are also provided. The UMC operated by LMU DCOM has two locations in Harrogate and the New Tazewell facility. Both of those facilities are open to the public and appointments may be made by calling 423-869-7193. Same day appointments are available and most insurances are accepted. For more information on the University Medical Clinic, you can visit their website at lmu-umc.com. Now, LMU Community TV will be live in the community tomorrow to find out when and where we'll be. Stay right here. Cook foods to the right temperature using a food thermometer. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Every day across America, excess food is gathered by a network of good people at local food banks, giving hope 
to millions of children who struggle with hunger. They've earned their wings, and you can too. Together, we can solve child hunger. Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest! You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Welcome back. You are invited to come out tomorrow morning from 10 o'clock to noon and join us at our live radio remote at Pinnacle Performance Therapy. Pinnacle Therapy is located at 362 Catalpa Avenue in Harrogate, right next to All Star Trophies. Pinnacle Performance Physical Therapy's innovative approach to outpatient orthopedic rehabilitation is improving the quality of life and wellness of both adults and children. They offer a full slate of services that range from physical to occupational therapy to industrial rehabilitation, vestibular rehabilitation therapy, golf swing analysis, the anti-gravity treadmill experience, and pediatric care and rehabilitation. And be sure to listen to Bluegrass for Breakfast on 740 WCXZ and on 91.3 WLMU as we broadcast live with specials for listeners throughout the morning. The Shalala Creek Trail that is used to access the historic Hensley Settlement in Cumberland Gap National Historical Park is closed to all visitors due to severe damage caused by the recent heavy rains. Deep ruts and undercutting of road edges have made the 4.6 mile long road impassable and very unstable. Any type of visitor use, whether by pedestrians, horses, bicycles, or vehicles, could result in serious injury. Hensley settlement tours conducted by park staff have been canceled for the season. The August 12th Shooting Star Spectacular at Hensley Settlement is also canceled. Though the Shalala Road is closed indefinitely, Superintendent Sula Jacobs encourages all to visit their national park. The park calendar of events has many exciting events for the remainder of the year, and park staff hope that visitors will partake in these while work is being done to the road. Visitors can also take an armchair visit of the settlement by watching the park films or immerse themselves in a virtual tour of the settlement by visiting the park's website at nps.gov slash C-U-G-A. And for more information, visitors can call the park visitor center at 606-246-1075. We have started another series where the LMU Community TV crew is breaking down the top animated movies from 1937 all the way to 2014. And in the upcoming weeks, we will be naming what we believe is the biggest animated movie. We have whittled down the list from 393 movies down to 96 and then randomly placed the lucky 96 into a bracket. The first round can be seen coming up on Monday on LMU Community TV News, so be sure you tune in and check out the first round. And coming up, Joseph Lewis brings you movies that are coming to the theaters this weekend and Tyler Rowlett debuts his first concert calendar. That is right after this break. Getting out of the military, I was missing this camaraderie. It's frustrating when you try and talk to people that don't understand. I would be talking, but I wasn't there with them. You just feel so alone. I still had the anger, I still had the addictions, but we didn't talk about that came to a point where it's like, okay, I really need to talk to somebody about this. Family more or less encouraged me, you know, go go to the VA, you're a veteran, see what they can do to help you. When you have family, friends, when you have the facilities like the VA and the vet center, it gives me, it gives others encouragement to keep moving forward. It's okay to go get help. It's okay to talk to people because it takes true strength to ask for help. Talking with, with other veterans was the best method for learning the roadmap to success. Hear veterans' real stories of strength and recovery at maketheconnection.net. Now let's turn it to Joseph Lewis, who tells us everything we need to see in theaters this weekend.
Hello, I'm Joseph Lewis, bringing you all the latest information in the world of movies. Coming to theaters this weekend is Pixels, a new comedy from the Happy Madison team in which aliens interpret a NASA time capsule as a declaration of war and launch their own preemptive strike against Earth in the form of classic retro video game characters including Pac-Man and Donkey Kong. Kevin James plays the U.S. president, and his first line of defense rests on the shoulders of his game designer buddy played by Adam Sandler. Josh Gad and Game of Thrones' Peter Dinklage co-star as Master Game gamers, and Harry Potter director Chris Columbus takes the lead behind the camera. Also opening this weekend is Paper Towns, a big screen adaptation of the popular young adult novel by John Green, who later went on to write The Fault in Our Stars. Nat Wolf stars as Q, a high school student who finds himself with a mystery on his hands when his childhood friend Margot suddenly disappears after a night spent in her company. Anna Karenina's Cara Delevingne co-stars as Margot, and the film is directed by Jake Schreier, previously responsible for 2012's Overlooked Dramedy, Robot, and Frank. Lastly opening this week is Southpaw, the long-awaited boxing drama starring Jake Gyllenhaal as Billy Hope, a pugilist on the cusp of retirement who spirals into a pit of depression and drug abuse after his wife, played by Rachel McAdams, is murdered. Forrest Whitaker and Naomi Harris co-star, and this film seems particularly promising as it is penned by The Shield writer and Sons of Anarchy creator Kurt Sutter, working alongside Training Day director Antoine Fuqua. All three of these films can be seen in theaters nationwide starting this Friday, July 24th, and be sure to check your local listings for special Thursday night screenings in the area. That's all for today in the world of movies. I'm Joseph Lewis. Well, those look like some good movies to escape the heat and enjoy a cool break, but if you are wanting to know what is coming up in the music world, let's turn to our newest segment on LMU Community TV News with your concert calendar with Tyler Rowlett. Hi, I'm Tyler Rowlett with 91.3 WLMU, bringing you your concert calendar for the week of July 21st, 2015. On Tuesday, July 28th, there will be two great opportunities to see live music. Appearing at the Bijou Theater in Knoxville will be the Chris Robinson Brotherhood, fronted by the former frontman of the Black Crows, Chris Robinson. Chris Robinson Brotherhood performed mainly original tracks with the occasional Black Crows cover song also. For fans of the Black Crows, or even fans of bands like the Grateful Dead, who the CRB draw much inspiration from, it's sure to be a great show. Also on July 28th, James Taylor will be performing at Thompson Bowling Arena in Knoxville. It's an unusual venue for James, who normally sticks to smaller theaters and outdoor amphitheaters. Expect to hear all the classics, Fire and Rain, Carolina in My Mind, and many more. For more information, visit KnoxvilleTickets.com. To the north of us this week, we have two great shows coming. This Saturday, July 25th, Incubus and Deftones will be at the Riverbend Music Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. This is a dual headlining show, so expect long sets from both bands. Also this Saturday, in Renfro Valley, Kentucky, will be Charlie Pride. Expect to hear all of Charlie Pride's classic songs, such as Kiss an Angel, Good Morning. This is a must-see for all classic country fans. I'm Tyler Rowlett with 91.3 WLMU and LMU Community TV, and that's your concert calendar for the week of July 21st, 2015. She couldn't wait. She had imagined the day for as long as she could remember. The anticipation had been building. The shopping, the dress, the jewelry. Celebrating with her friends would be the sign that they had finally made it. Only, she didn't make it. According to MAD.org, teen alcohol use kills 4,700 people each year. That's more than all illegal drugs combined. Car crashes are the leading cause of death for teens and about a quarter of those crashes involve an underage drinker. Don't add to these statistics. Take a stand against underage drinking. The future is in your hands. And that is going to do it for your weekend edition of LMU Community TV News. We do thank you for joining us and we hope you'll join us Monday. For everyone behind the scenes, I'm Ashley Hurley.